Hi, hello everybody. My name is Ustari Perez and I am going to read some world news, Colombian news and sporty news. So we are going to start um, with the news from Facebook joins with foundations to study its role in elections. Facebook is working with several foundations to help increase public understanding of the social media giant's role in elections and democracy. The announcement uh, comes as Facebook uh, Chief Executive Officer Mark Zuckerberg heads to Washington to face two days of reeling from congressional leaders. The goal is both to get uh, the ideas of leading academics on how to address these issues as well as to hold us accountable for making sure we protect the integrity of these elections on Facebook uh, Zuckerberg said in a, blog in a blog post. Facebook came under fire last year after it was revealed that Russian agents used the site to spread misinformation during the U.S. presidential election in two, uh, 2016. Zuckerberg uh, has made it one of his top priorities this year to tackle such issues. Facebook started looking into social media's impact on democracy in January after Bloomberg published a story explaining the company's efforts to train world leaders, including those who use Facebook, against their own people. Okay, that's all. Uh, in other news, we have tourist trap tours in Colombia under pressure. Okay. A local tour operator complains that the heavy-handed implementation of arcane rules threatens the industry. For many years, they say, the law was not enforced, no was in enforced. Recently, however, the group of professional guides who have uh, either done the course have been pressuring uh, the police to stop non-certified guides from working. It's an absurd situation, they say which threatens to throw many capable people out of work and is already demanding Colombia's economy and its international image among travelers, whose tours are canceled for absurd and incomprehensible reasons. And it's all because of a totally unnecessary law. They say that. Guiding tourists is not like being a doctor or lawyer. If a doctor does bad work, the patient can die. If a tour guide does a bad job, the tourists get bored and go home, and the guide doesn't get any more clients. The government certification is no guarantee that someone will do a good job. If it were, there wouldn't be any bad lawyers. Rather, it forces uh, the business to hire people based on paperwork rather than the ability. Many tour guides, after all, young people who are also students or who have other jobs, they don't have the time to do alone certain courses, especially some tourists, will not be their lifetime profession. The solution here is for the government to, to cease enforcing a law that's absurd, unnecessary and disruptive, and let people do the work they're good at. Okay. In sports news, we have Ronda Rousey is reduced to tears after making triumphant WWE debut at Westland, WrestleMania 34. Ronda Rousey reminded the world why she is the best woman on the planet as she celebrated a triumphant, a triumphant WWE debut at WrestleMania 34. The legendary former UFC champion partner, Raw general manager, and WWE Hall of Fame Kurt Angle to take a house on husband and wife do Stephanie McMahon and Triple H in what was her first ever match as a professional wrestler. Rosie uh, signed a long-term deal with WWE earlier this year, announcing herself at the Royal Rumble back in January. And she wasted no time in showing how deter determined she is to succeed inside the square circle as she made Stephanie McMahon tap out to her 
excruciating arm bar submission hole. Indeed, the adulation was clearly overwhelming for Rosie, who struggled to control her emotions after the victory. I'm absolutely ecstatic, she said, speaking alongside Angle to WWE Network. After my wedding day, this is the most favorite day of my life, I think, she added, before pausing to wipe away her tears of joy. Angle, who famously won uh, wrestling gold at the 1996 Atlanta Olympic Games, believes Rosie will now go on the future success in the WWE. Um, that was her first, ma her first match and she blew the roof of the joint, he said. Well, that's all, everybody. See you next time.